Hi everyone, this is Pedro from Python Lista with one more video. In this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to SSH safely from your local Linux client into a Linux virtual machine in Azure. First, let's create a new virtual machine in Azure. So I go here, create, and then you can pull like virtual machine. That's the first one here. So if you don't see it, you can just search here virtual machine and you put create. In my case here, I'm just going to do a new subscription here. I'm just going to create a new um, uh, resource group called Linux VM. So you can name it whatever you, you want, as long as there is not an existing with that same name. So give the virtual machine a name. I'm just going to call it data age 42 uh, demo. Oops, demo. And then I'm just going to create in Australia East. You can leave it available in zone like this, uh, secure type trusted virtual machines. And I'm just going to get the free service eligible here, which is the Ubuntu Server 24.04 LTS, which stands for long term support. And I'm getting the architecture as x64. So in terms of size, I'm just going to keep this one, which is very cheap, like 9.64 per month. This is the calculation per month but you get charged per hour, which is going to be a few cents per hour. In this demo, I'm just going to use for a few minutes and then destroy it at the end. So in terms of authentication, so Azure uh, automatically generates SSH key pairs uh, for you and allows you to store it for future use. Uh, it's a fast, simple and secure way to connect. So you can either do a password, which is not recommended, so everything can be done via SSH, uh, public key so and then so this is the user that's created I'm just going to use that same username here for the case you can either generate a new pair or you can use an existing one and I'll show you how to do it so in this case I'm just going to use existing one which I have already in my computer so if you have a Linux uh, client you can go to this directory that I'm going to show you uh, just to show you where it is, uh, usually as a default, it's on your home directory and you do forward slash SSH. So in this case, I have here this ID, which is my private key, and that one is my public key. So what I'm going to do, if you don't have an SSH key, you can generate one. So you, uh, you can use either this format or this format. This format here is still in preview, but that one is generally available. So I would recommend if you don't have one, uh, you just put this command here on your terminal. Surely recommend this one, sorry, not this one. So once being generated, that's going to create uh, this file here. So what you need to do is you can do um, a cat of that file or print that in your screen. So uh, in my case is this. That's your private one. Don't send this one because this one you need to keep secret. You put your PUB one, which is the public one. So I'm just going to hide it here. You just cannot copy, even though that's public. You just copy this thing here, Control C. And then you have going to paste here. So and automatically, Azure is going to um, save that into your virtual machine that you are creating. So and you can put review and create. You see, that's going to cost me one cent per hour, which is almost nothing. And then you just click create. And then you wait for about a couple of minutes or a little bit more. And then that virtual machine will be provisioned with this IP address and everything. So as you can see here, uh, you haven't created your RSS. So I'm going to put in the description of the video. This goes through step by step what you can do to create that um, IDs here. And then that's where it's going to be saved on your directory. So the virtual machine was created pretty quick. It took less than a minute. Once the virtual machine is being created, so what you need to do is just copy that uh, public IP address open a terminal, open a terminal, and then you just click, uh, type SSH, and then you're just going to use that user, which I think it is Azure 
user and then you put like add symbol and then the IP of that um, machine yeah that's the one and then also one thing that's very important when you create it I was not explicit but if you do see on the network settings so you have to have your SSH port open for inbound traffic so which in my case is allow any traffic from 22 which is the SSH port and then once you click here and then ask these um, my host can be established uh, key fingerprint uh, will be added so if you want to continue you just click yes and now it's gonna do the handshake All right you are in the machine so that was a, a quick one uh, probably that's the best way you would do SSH and quickly uh, log in into your machine without having uh, the need of a password. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and like the video. See you next time.